Hey, it's Cliff, and as most people know, the Ethereum merge went through successfully, it looks like, and I think most people could probably argue that this was needed on Ethereum that's going to bring good things to the Ethereum chain. But in this video, I'm going to air my griefs, just to put them out there. Um, if, you, if you guys don't know, I don't think I've actually mentioned on this channel, but I'm a hobbyist miner, and it's something that I've done for a while to generate passive income so in this video i'm going to look and see what is the next most profitable coin to mine and compare that to the rate of what i was making with ethereum and even let you know what i was making at the top of the market so if you can't tell i am pretty bummed about this because it was really good passive income for me and i really didn't have to do anything it was just something that i ran in the background and would generate me pretty good money so definitely bummed out about this but let me go ahead and bring up what to mine here and I'll let you know what was going on here. So personally, my rig is very small. I was running three 3090s as well as three 5700 XTs. I have a 3090 in this desktop computer that I'm using right now. And then I have two 3090s in a rig that was also combined with a AMD rig that had three 5700 XTs. So what I've done here is I have selected those. And if we hit calculate on this site, it'll actually tell you what is the most profitable coins currently right now, now that we can no longer mine with Ethereum. So just uh, scrolling down here, it looks like it's going to be this RYO coin. And it looks like for all of my hash right now, the most money that I could make is $3.34. So just to put that in comparison, when I was mining Ethereum at the very peak of the market, I was making over $100 per day. And it was really nice. I was enjoying that. But of course, as the price came down, um, I wasn't making nearly as much. So the average of what it is or what it was like, say, last week, was making about $11. So you can see 334 compared to $11, that's a pretty big hit. And that's not even factoring in electricity. So let me go ahead and add that in here. So if you say you're thinking about mining with the rig that I have, most people's electricity rate is around... Um, 10, 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So let's go ahead and just say it's 11. We can put in our calculation here. And as you can see, you'd only be making 18 cents. But you have to think like not everyone is in a uh, good price area for electricity. Like me personally, I live on an island. So, you know, my electricity rate is really high. I'm spending probably around 30, which is insane. But we can calculate that. And you can just see that this is not nearly, it's not profitable at all anymore. Like there's really no point of people mining anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a big, it's a big letdown. I'm pretty bummed that we can no longer get this passive income. That's just how it goes. That's just how it is. So maybe at some point there'll be a coin that we can actually mine. Uh, we'll come out of nowhere and then this will be actually be profitable again. But right now, I think for most people who were mining, we're, we're just shutting off of our rigs, which is, Really unfortunate, definitely not something that we were looking forward to, but we knew this was coming for quite a long time. It's just, uh, it, it had been delayed so many times that I was to the point, like I was thinking this was never going to happen, but it's finally here. And, and just to put what to mine here in perspective, I'll, I'll actually put a link down below in the description if you want to mess with it yourself. But um, these prices that I'm looking at right now are even kind of inflated because as I run my rig now, I was only making about a dollar. And that's not factoring in electricity. No, the profitability of my three 5700 XTs and three 3090s, yeah, it was, it was about a buck. So it's, it's not worth me me running these anymore. And I, I can actually show you. If, so here's a renewed 5700 XT. There's a possibility that you could find these cheaper on eBay, but I'm just using this as kind of like an example. If we go back over to what to mine, and now that we know we're working with about $300, we can factor this in here. So one 5700 XT is going to make you 30 cents 
before electricity. So you're going to see like, this isn't, it's not worth it, you know, for a, a $300 piece of hardware and you're going to be only making 30 cents a day, that's going to take you forever to break even. And that's only if you're in a situation where maybe you, I don't know, have solar panels or you're, you're not paying electricity, you know, that's included in your rent or something. It's just not worth it. Um, like I said, hopefully something else comes along and then will be profitable again, but it doesn't, doesn't look great for, for mining. You know, at the peak, my rig was making like 1600 a month, you know, that was nice money to have, but, um, you know, good things don't last forever. So another thing I've been seeing is this, uh, fork coming to ethereum it's this eth proof of work i just want to let you guys know that this is being worked with justin sun who is the tron guy he's your uh, BitTorrent ceo guy this guy is a total scammer so be careful with what you're doing with these tokens yeah you could go and set up your metamask or whatever to get an airdrop of this ETH proof of work but I would probably suggest if you do get this airdrop to sell it immediately while it's still profitable because it's not, I don't trust him. I don't think this is going to be worth anything. He has a track record of just being a douchebag. So maybe that's a, that's a play you could make where you just kind of uh, get the airdrop and sell it immediately. But for me, I don't think it's really worth anything. And as you can see, they're already having issues when it comes to the Ethereum fork for this proof of work thing. So Justin's son thought he was going to be like this champion that came in and saved proof of work mining and all, all the miners would be super happy in this uh, cryptocurrency was going to like launch off and make him a bunch of money. But when it actually came down to him launching the chain, you can see here it says it quickly became clear that part of the issue was that ETH POW had chosen a chain ID already in use. So you, as you can see, he's an amateur and he just wants to take advantage of you. That's pretty much all I got. I just mainly wanted to show you guys that this is it. This is this is depressing. It's, it's the end of mining the way it looks right now. Um, it's just not profitable. There's no point of running your rigs anymore, which sucks. Like having that that passive income was really nice, but you know, nothing lasts forever. So um, if we have any miners watching, you know, uh, please leave your comments down below. Uh, let me know how you're feeling. Uh, if there's any coins that you're looking at that maybe have potential, maybe one day we we can find something that is profitable. But right now, it, it doesn't look good. So, yeah. Thank you for watching.